Okay, let's talk about statement only. Now, minion reindex allows you to now minion reindex allows you to print the statements that you want to run so that you can do a manual run of individual objects if you like. Let's go ahead and start with the index mate master. And you notice here I've got statement only equals one here. And I'm gonna do this against all index operations and all reorg modes. Let's go ahead and run this right now. There we go. Now let's come over here to messages and you notice how I've got all of these statements printed, one for each database, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and kick Control A and Control Z or Control C on that. And then I'll put this in there. Now you can see that it printed all of these statements for all of the databases, DB24, 30, 35, all of these, all the way up to database 100, right? So I printed the statements for all of them. And notice too that it used, that it's calling the index main DB procedure with the same parameters that I passed in. So you notice I've got log progress equals one, statement only equals one, prep only equals zero, run prepped equals zero, and the reorg mode and the index option are both the same that I called it with in here, wherever it is, there it is. So you notice that all of the, pr that, it, that it prints the statements with the exact same parameters that you called it with. So if you need to change any of these guys, then just change them for a specific database or for you know all of the databases just go ahead and do that of course if you were going to do that then you should have you know you should have run it with what you wanted for all the databases so that would be a specific thing but this is say if you wanted to go through and pick and choose and just run specific databases i want to run this database and then i want to run this database right now you can also call the d the main db procedure with statement only equals one and i can call it for uh, and, and I have to call it for a single database. So in this case, I'm going to do the demo database, and it's a small database. This will only take a couple of seconds. So I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to click Execute. There we go. It's finished. And you notice how it printed these reindex statements for me. I'm going to go ahead and copy these guys. Let's get rid of that because we're finished. Okay, so you'll use this one if you want to inspect the fragmentation of the individual indexes and choose which ones to run. Maybe just run certain ones or run them in a certain order if you like. So here you notice I give you the reorg threshold and the rebuild threshold and I give you the current fragmentation level so you can see exactly how fragmented it is. And then of course you can highlight that and then just run it. Of course there's one caveat here, right? If you run the individual index statement like this, then it won't be logged in the table because you don't see any logging code here, right? So just know that if you run it like this, you're not going to get any of you're not going to get any of the tracking that you get when you run it through the procedure. But notice also that the procedure allows you where is it? There it is. That the procedure allows you to to print the index statements without altering the procedure. You don't have to go into it and change the execute to a print. We already do it for you, and we give you some useful information right here as well. So that's how to use the print statements, and I hope you like it.